Hello grade 5, welcome to our science class. We are now on our week 6 based on our map. Infer the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. Do you know that circuit is a complete loop through which an electrical current flow? The word circuit comes from the Latin word circuitus which means go around. It is made up of a series of electrical components and conductors. A circuit always needs a power source, such as a battery, with wires connected to both the positive and negative ends. A battery is also known as a cell. A circuit can also contain other electrical components such as bulbs, buzzers, or motors which allow electricity to pass through. Open circuit is an electric in which the continuity is broken so that the current does not flow. Just look at the picture. We have here closed circuit and open circuit. Closed circuit is a circuit without interruption, providing a continuous path through which a current can flow. Remember, parts of electric circuit are bulb. It is an object that uses electrical power or electrical energy. Number two is the battery. It is the source of energy or electricity. Number three, conducting wire. It is a cable or link that connects the source of energy to the bulb. Number four, switch. It is controlling device which is used to open or close a circuit. Just look at the pictures. For the bulb to light up, you must Number one, connect the first wire to the negative end of the battery. Strip the ends of insulated wire and connect to the bulb. Number three, connect the second wire to switch. Number four, connect the third wire to the positive end of the battery. Here are some practice activities. We have here activity A. Match the concept in column B with its description in column A. Write the letter of the correct answer in the space provided. Number 1. Circuit where electricity can flow. Number 2. A complete path of electricity. Number 3. A source of energy. Number 4. Circuit where electricity flows freely. Number five, connects the light bulb and battery. So choose your answer from letter B. So we have here answer key. Let's check if you are correct. Okay. Here are the answers. Well done. Let's proceed to activity B. Read the following questions or situations. Write the letter of the correct answer. Do this in your notebooks. Number one. Which of the following devices open and closes a circuit? A fuse, B switch, C dry cell, D metal. Number two, which of the following kinds of circuit does not allow electricity to flow because of a gap? A open circuit, B closed circuit, C fuse, D dry cell. Number three, which of the following materials allow electric current to pass through? 
A. Conductors B. Insulators C. Circuit D. Electromagnet Number 4 Which of the following is a safety device that is put in a circuit to connect the parts of the circuit? A. Bulb B. Switch C. Dry cell D. Copper wire And number 5 Why does the bulb light? Electric Electricity is inside the bulb. B. Electricity flows in a complete circuit. C. Electricity jumps the dry cell to the bulb. Letter D. Electricity is changed into chemical energy. So, are you finished? Okay, we have here our answer. Number 1 is letter B, number 2 is letter A, number 3 is letter A, number 4 is letter D, and number 5 is letter B. Good job! We have another activity. Activity C. Directions. Study the diagram below. Number the parts from 1 to 4 to show the sequence in making the bulb lights up. So in, in doing your activities, you must follow the steps from 1 to 4. So put a number from 1 to 4 to show the sequence in making the bulb lights up. So the answers are... 1 is battery, 2 wire, 3 bulb, and number 4 switch. Very good. That's all for today. Till next time. Thank you for listening. God bless.